Hey y'all, Patrick here with Tomon's Guitars and Basses. And today I wanted to talk about a line of effects that are sort of the unsung hero of bass tone and bass signals in general. No matter what genre or type of music that you play, no matter if your bass is active or passive, no matter any of that stuff, I pretty much guarantee that this effect is used on 99% of the recordings in that genre. And that specific effect I'm talking about is compression. And so today I wanted to take a look at compressor pedals and see how these little boxes can make such a big difference in the signal that we're trying to record. Now compression is sort of the unsung hero in the music industry. It's something that's not super flashy or sexy, say as effects like modulation, octaves, or dirt, but it's something that can make such a drastic change in not only your specific part, but the song in general. But trust me when I say that compression can make a dramatic change in the sound and feel of your bass signal. So what exactly is compression and what is it really used for? Now the main objective of compression is to essentially squash your tone down and make sure that every note from every string is on an even playing field. And this effect essentially just ensures that your overall signal and tone is more controlled and balanced. And this can just help tremendously with your sustain, dynamics, and overall output of your signal, just to make sure, again, that everything is balanced and there's no peaking. So, with an unbalanced signal, think of it like this. Your loud notes are gonna be very big and probably peaking, but then your quieter notes are gonna be very small. So then there's a big disconnect between those loud notes and those quiet notes. So the job of compression is to try and squash it all down to where it's even across the board. So basically, you don't want your loud notes to be too loud, but at the same time, you don't want your quiet notes to be too quiet. You want everything to sort of be at an even scape all the way through. So the great thing about compressor pedals today is that there are a ton of options out there, especially for us bass players, thankfully. And no matter if you're on a budget or if you're willing to shell out as much money as possible for a compressor pedal, so you can make sure that you can control every single aspect of that compression, you're good to go. So there's four main controls when it comes to a compressor pedal, threshold, ratio, attack, and release. And no matter the model of compressor pedal that you're looking at, they might not have that specific name, but I guarantee you that there's something on there that does one of these four things for that control, if not two or three at the same time. So let's go ahead and start with threshold. Now threshold essentially tells the compressor when to turn on. And some pedals for the threshold settings, they're dialed in via an input control instead of something specifically marked as threshold. Then next we have ratio. Ratio essentially determines how aggressive the compressor squashes the sound. A lower ratio means less compression and a higher ratio just means more compression. And then finally we have attack and release. Attack essentially just says how fast the compressor is gonna kick in. Then release essentially just tells the compressor how fast to stop. And now most, if not all compression pedals work on these four variables. But of course some of them sort of blend them all into one general compression knob. And then some add more features like tone controls to adjust your EQ. Some add sidechain compression and some add in a blend or mix control, which is very, very important for us basses. Now, if you're not familiar with working with compression or compressor pedals, I completely understand if this all just seems like a different language. But trust me when I say it's something that you can just go head first into, get a cheap compressor pedal and just experiment with it. Mess around with it, see what works for you, see what doesn't work for your sound, and really just go and branch from there.
Compressor pedals to me are something that you really get a feel for more than anything. And over time you see how that affects your tone and your playing too. It's something that's really magical because it sort of doesn't make sense, but then when you use it, it makes complete sense. And again, no matter what genre or type of music you play, it is super useful for all types of music and playing styles. But thank y'all so much for watching and coming along with me on this very simple journey of what compression is. Now there's a lot that I'm leaving out, but I just wanted to give a general basic guide to really what compression is and what you can use it with and really how you can use it with a little bit or a lot. Now again, this is just something that's up to feel in the personal use of you and maybe your band or your sound engineer to really see what's best for the overall tone and feel of your sound and signal. But again, thank you all so much for watching. And in the comments below, let us know what compressor pedals you guys use for your bass signal and really what your favorite settings are too. Compression is just such a fun and extremely useful effect to play around with. And I absolutely love going through with it and seeing how it reacts to different basses too. Now make sure you guys subscribe here to the Tomon Guitars and Basses channel and hit that bell for notifications to make sure that you don't miss any videos in the future. Thank you all so much for watching as always, and we'll see you all next time.